Hi, this is Marie Spalding of Living Felt. Thank you for joining us today. Today we have a fun project of making these wet felted snakes that would be a great activity to do with your kids or grandkids. All you need is a little bit of wool fiber and some pipe cleaners. I like to work on a bamboo mat, some soap for felting, and some hot water. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is we'll take two pipe cleaners and I'll back them off and I'm going to twist them together just right about here. I want to make a long snake and twisting two pipe cleaners together allows me to make them a little bit longer. So just twist the body like that and then bend back a little loop for the head. This will give us a base for wrapping some wool around. Then we're going to take, today I'm working with New Zealand Coriadale. I'm going to rip off a length of fiber that I can work with and then split it into a nice thin length that I can handle to wrap around my pipe cleaner. Hold it and just twist. So first twist some on the head. We're going to come back and add bulk to the head in just a minute. And then if you turn it around, it's, you can continue to twist. I find it easier to twist the pipe cleaner than to twist the fiber. We actually don't want the fiber itself to twist, we just want it to wrap around the pipe cleaner. So when you run out of pipe, uh, fiber, just continue on with another length of fiber. So here I have one that I've completely wrapped. You'll see that the head is bulky and I've wrapped some blue merino cross around as rings. It's very easy to do. Just wrap it around. It doesn't have to be exact at all. So now we're going to wet our snake and felt him. I have here a bowl of hot water and we like to use our olive oil soap. This is imported from France. Great on your hands and fabulous for your felting projects. Just put it in the water. You can also use a vegetable peeler and grate it in there. You just want the water to be slickery in between your fingers. So holding your snake over your bowl, just start to get him wet. It helps if you get, keep your hand soapy as well. And then we're going to squeeze it as we go. So we're going to wet our entire little snake in this fashion. And just squeeze gently at first until we wet the entire little guy. What we're doing is we're wetting the fibers the hot water helps the fibers open up a little bit and the soap helps change the pH so that the natural scales on the fibers will open up and be better to felt together as we agitate them. Okay, so my snake is, is pretty wet. We'll add water as we need to and soap and we're just going to roll him on our bamboo mat. Very gentle pressure at first. I'm actually not adding any physical pressure. I'm just rocking him back and forth. And as we continue to do this, the fibers will get closer and closer together and that's what makes felt. We call it shrinking, but all that's really happening is the fibers are getting tighter and tight, tighter interlocked. And so you can see that it's already getting a little more dense and we're going to continue rolling. Kind of like you were rolling a ball of clay, a tube of clay. You'll notice that the end slides a little bit off of the armature wire of the pipe cleaner and that's totally okay because we're going to twirl it up for our fun design anyway. Just continue rolling, continue rolling, roll in your hands as well as it starts to get tighter and then you're going to end up with some wonderful snakes just like this. Here we've added some googly eyes, here we've added needle felted eyes and even a little slithering tongue. I hope you have fun making snakes with your young ones today. We hope you'll send us pictures so we can share them with our other felting friends. Thank you for joining us. This is Marie Spalding of Living Felt, and as always, happy felting.